Shalom, Shabbat, everyone. Um, this is going to be a very quick video, a very, very quick one. Listen, guys. When someone or a group, group of people, when they refuse to trust God, then listen to what I'm saying here. Get the hell away from there. I will not excuse my language. I will say it as it is. Now, listen. Scripture does not tell us to avoid unbelievers. Why? Because we have to minister unto them. The word of God does make clear that we have to avoid people that are psychopathic, that are dangerous towards us, that also includes so-called believers that keep persisting in pagan ways. You see, because listen to me, guys. If someone just persists in not trusting God, then it, then it means that they are persisting in trusting, you know, sorcerers that are anti-God, anti-Christ. You see? Basically, they are agreeing with an accusation against the Most High by, de by them persisting not to trust God. You see, when you have people, they keep going back to tarot cards. They keep going back to smoking the cigar to let spirits communicate to them. They keep going to the witch doctor or the clairvoyant woman. Or they keep, they keep persisting listening to certain news media, of which is already known that those news stations... Are corrupt now there are there are media out there that are revealing good stuff that are revealing objective facts okay but mainstream media most of the time is deceptive okay but you still have people that will ignore all the objective evidence and they will persist in listening to how do I say it to misinformation to disinformation you see when people persist in disinformation it means that they are in accusation against the most high and if they are lying against themselves, and by that also lying against the Most High, what makes you think they won't lie to you? What makes you think they won't cheat on you? What makes you think they won't target you? They won't betray you to let you be murdered? You see? Look, I talk often about agreeing with Christ and all of that, guys, and I'm making this video to make clear to you it's very dangerous. Very dangerous for yourself and for those that, that are connected to you, for those around you, when you persist in hanging around people who willfully, listen to what I'm saying, I'm talking about people that willfully resist trusting God. Okay? Even if they call themselves Christian, even if they go to church, when you notice at them, at their behavior, that they just don't want to trust God, get the hell out of there, guys. Get out of there. Okay, I'm saying this for your own well-being and for those that the Lord has entrusted to you. Because look, when someone is not, let me say, when someone is not agreeing with Christ, they are agreeing with Satan. It's one of the two. And when someone willfully, I'm not talking about people that are ignorant. I'm not talking about unbelievers who don't know anything about the Bible nor about the covenant. When the people who know the covenant of Christ, but for selfish, self-centered reasons, they persist in blaming God and not trusting Him. Those people are far, far more dangerous. They are far more dangerous than the witch doctor in Africa. They are far more dangerous than the Wiccan at high school. Why? Because they are aware of the covenant. And because they are aware of the covenant, and they associate with the covenant of Christ, you will think, well, they are trustworthy. But the, the, here's the trick, they're not trustworthy. They are far more dangerous than the witch doctors and Wiccans and witches out there who are fully pagan and, and even inaugurated into witchcraft. Why? Because they are open doors for demons to harass you. Listen, didn't uh, the Holy Spirit make clear that it will be a falling, great falling away first? Now, the great falling away, you see, I call it the great falling away. I call it great, but it's really the big falling away. Big falling away is already happening, guys. It's not some future future event that will happen just before Apollo or Antichrist makes his appearance. The big falling away has been going on for a few decades already. It's only becoming bigger and bigger. And let me tell you what a big falling away is. The big following fall falling away is not of believers that will forfeit their salvation because you cannot forfeit salvation. You cannot undo your salvation, which is the work of God. The big falling away is the, well, that's all I have for now. Shabbat Shalom.